She does her Yurchenko full, sticks the landing. Beautiful ball, beautiful ball. A little bit of pike down at the end, but a great ball. Chelsea will be next on vault. She will also do the Yurchenko full. She runs down the vault runway. Round off back handspring, full twist. Hop on the landing. Great vault, though. Beautiful lines. Just got to look for that landing. Round off, back handspring, full twist, stuck. Oh, just a slight hop there at the end. I thought she had it. I thought she was going to pull it out, but she Mitchup had a single, switches to a double now, the bottom side of the mat with the drop right on the edge. That's a two-point takedown, and they go out of bounds. Mitchup starts down and quickly has a reversal off the switch. Eight seconds to take the lead, five to three. Out of Upper St. Clair, Pennsylvania, he's now 20 and 14 against Michael Carlone at 14 and 10, and it's a double leg shot by McGuire. Then he switches back to a single after he couldn't quite hook the leg, but now if he can come around the waist, he'll have a takedown, maybe more. He's going for that rock back defensive fall, but instead he's gonna be satisfied with the takedown as he does go around the waist and has the first takedown of the match to go up by two. She's always had a good bar routine. She'll do a jump over mount to the high bar, glide kick, cast handstand, blind full. Yay, Ginger, sorry about that. That was a Ginger glide kick, cast handstand. Shoot over to handstand, beautiful lines, feet together, glide kick, squat on, back to the high bar. Glide kick, cast handstand, giant, giant, double layout flyway. Stuck landing. Whoa. That was a beautiful routine. <laughs> Lindsay gets ready to jump over the low bar. She's on the high bar. Glide kick, cast handstand. Glide change. Ginger, shoot over. Great job. Glide kick, squat on back to the high bar. Glide kick, cast handstand. Giant, giant. Double layout flyway. some of their cushion, but still up by a, a half a point. Hard, hard takedown by Wheeler right to his back. Right at the end of the period, and time is out. And finally, time had long been out. And tries to get to his feet, rolls through, pops out from the behind, and has the two-point reversal, and that's it. A tech fall and a just a completely dominating match by Sam Wheeler as he cruises to the victory here at 174 pounds. Oh, she really came back and is helping her team out. We're into the second period. It's still 2-0 in favor of Marsh, who's going to start in the top position in this second period. He'll have his choice in the third. Sleep towards your take quarter, slight wobble as she prepares for her dismount. Round off, one and a half, slight hop on the dismount, be five. Next on balance beam will be Lindsay as she mounts the balance beam. Front tuck, very nice beat jump, so she gets connection bonus there. 
Ashley. Straddle corner, no wobbles. Good start to a balance beam routine as she prepares for her flight series. Back handspring, layout step out. Slight bend back leg, but no wobbles. She stayed on that balance beam. Full turn, slight wobble on the full turn, over turn, the full turn. Beat jump into a straddle three quarter. Slight wobble as she was coming <laughs> out of the straddle three quarter. As she prepares for her dismount. Cartwheel into a gainer full stuff landing. Very they, nice job on coming back from the two yeah, balls. I was going to say they needed that. Yes, they very did, much so. They needed that. Showmanship in this floor team. Wolf full into a straddle pull. As she prepares for this second tumbling pass. a constant smile on her face, which is what you want to see as a judge, that she's enjoying herself out on this floor. Switch side, straddle full, stuck landing on that as well. Last class. Round off back handspring, double tuck, stuck landing. You can see Coach Craig very excited about that floor team along with all of her teammates and all the fans here in the MAC Center. That was a great floor team.